515 here in the Weather Center, so certainly some changes to talk about this morning, but before we got it, at least we had a nice day yesterday to sort of just see us through. Yeah, exactly. It was a, a nice finish to a pretty good stretch of weather, but we have a start, the start to some kind of nasty weather. So it begins. Starting today. Yeah, you'll feel it's in the air this morning. You'll see it too with some rain falling. It's There's a lot of moisture building into the air here. There are some of those yellows and oranges showing up there on Storm Tracker. That's that moderate rain that's already begun to pick up in intensity a little bit as it enters into our area. I'll zoom in here to show you that towards Tupper Lake, High Peaks region of the Adirondacks. Uh, you're going to find that right along the north way in Essex County, also widening in the middle of some of those moderate showers. Ferrisburg, heads up, you guys are going to have that pretty quickly here. Same with Bethel and Rutland, seeing the start of that. Whitehall in the middle of it. This is just the first of probably at least a few little bands and pockets of rain that will move through the area. And at times, it will be on the heavier side throughout the rest of the day. It's also very warm out this morning. It's very moist, very warm, 75 still in Burlington, 77 degrees and Plata Plattsburgh well above average here, uh, setting us up for not only a warm day here, but also a very muggy one. And as we head towards the rest of the afternoon here, not a huge jump in temperatures compared to where we are now in the mid 70s. We'll stay there through about 10 o'clock, upper 70s and low 80s for our highs, but we will continue to feel that humidity rise and those intermittent showers and thunderstorms to go along with it. Here are our dew points. We've been talking about these all week. It's the moisture in the atmosphere. Right now, dew points are in the 60s. They'll be above 70 this afternoon. That's that oppressive, extremely muggy, humid air, tropical in air, in fact, that's infiltrated our area, and it will continue to take over throughout the rest of the day. Now, a weak front will move to, through tomorrow. Slight reprieve, and I mean very slight reprieve from that humidity. It's still going to be on the muggy side with two points in the 60s for your Thursday, and they're going to crank back up into the 70 range by Friday, all the way through your Saturday, Sunday, and even parts of Monday. You'll see these reds showing up on this map for the next couple of days, which again is that very oppressive air. Now we felt the uptick in humidity yesterday. We're going to find that reprieve tomorrow thanks to a cold front today that's going to be moving through the area. Once that cold front passes, we're going to find some showers along with it, but a high pressure system will try to take over for our Thursday and that will bring us some sunshine for the northern half of our area. High pressure system is quiet weather, but we've got a new incoming system, a low pressure system off towards the Midwest, and that's going to be moving in quickly behind this high. It's going to push it out of the way very fast and it's going to bring in more of that very warm and very moist air, and that's why we'll find more of that humidity returning. Here are those scattered downpours and thunderstorms for the afternoon. Obviously not widespread, but they will will include some heavy, heavy rain, could see some minor localized flooding and also, of course, some stronger thunderstorms, especially for southern Vermont. Those continue on and off throughout the day. I mentioned some sun to the north, a few spot showers to the south for your Thursday, but Thursday is a little bit more quiet and again, slightly less humid, but then gets cranking again. Dangerous heat and humidity on Friday and Saturday, Saturday, which is why your alert icons are there. Could feel heat index values near 100 degrees each of those days with some isolated showers and storms on both of those days too. David.